Hi and welcome back to Bob's Little Sport Shop. I'm Ethan and today we're going to talk about Sig Sauer's new bolt action rifle, the Cross. So this is the Sig Sauer Cross. It's a bolt action, lightweight, precision rifle. They make this gun in three calibers, 308, 6.5 Creedmoor, and 277 Fury. And they also make it in black and also a digital camo. This rifle that we have here is the 308 version. Uh, in all black. A couple things that are really nice about this gun. Number one is it's very lightweight. It comes in at about six and a half pounds. It has a 16 inch stainless steel barrel with a one in 10 twist. And we'll just start from the back and work our way up on features. The first thing it has is the chassis system. It has the, the stock that is adjustable for both length of pull and you can also adjust the cheek height for mounting different size scopes on it. It's skeletonized, which cuts a lot of the weight of the gun out. It has an ambidextrous AR-15 style safety, which has your safe position and your fire position on both sides. The grip is an AR style pistol grip, which comes from the factory of Six Hours pistol grip. It will accept any aftermarket AR-15 grip. Moving up, it's a right-handed gun, so the bolt's on the side. And then your magwell trigger guard has the magazine release is built into the trigger guard right here. We push this forward and the magazine will drop free. It takes a standard AICS magazine, which is a single stack. I believe this is a five round magazine. Turning the gun over to the opposite side, we do have, like I said before, we have the ambidextrous safety and SIG's information on it, the cross, the multi-caliber. It comes from the factory with a 20 MOA rail that is T-marked. It's a little bit longer than your traditional rail that you would get on top of a standard receiver. So you do have that extra room for mounting uh, a larger scope or anything of the sort. On the fore end, it has a free float handguard, which is M-lock slots on four sides. So you have M-lock slots on the top, left and right, and the bottom for mounting bipod, uh, flashlight, whatever you want to add on there. You could even do iron sights. You can even add M-lock rail to the front and put a flip-up front sight on it and have your sights co-witness. It does come with a threaded barrel or attaching a flash hider or a muzzle brake or a suppressor if you were gonna shoot this gun suppressed. And the trigger on this gun is a two and a half, it's adjustable, so it's a two and a half to a four and a half pound trigger. And the other nice thing about it is the stock does fold. So you push the button in on the side here stock folds and locks in place and it doesn't drop free it has nice retention on it for transport so if you're going to put a sling on it and carry it around it's nice to be that you can have that folded stock it cuts the cuts the overall length down quite a bit when you're ready to open it back up push the button back in and flip it back around and it locks right in place as far as the bolt goes it does have a three lug bolt so it has the three locking points and the bolt moves very smoothly the bolt is very easy to take out as well. You pull the bolt straight back. There's a little button right here on the back of the gun. Depress that and the bolt comes right out. And then obviously clean, you can go right through the right through the chamber there. So that was our quick overview vid video of the Sig Sauer Cross in 308. Be sure to uh, check back with us because we will be adding a scope to this gun and doing some other things to it that we'll document as well. Please remember to like our videos, comment on our videos, share our videos with your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel.